Brooklyn Independent Television. In case you're just joining me, we're here on location at Zavarian's football field and they're cross holding practice and joining me is two of their key players. Your name? Sean Banks. Sushan Plummer. And they're both seniors and man, this is your senior year. So how do you feel about this coming into your own finally? It's pretty, it's pretty crazy how it all flew by. I mean, me and Tutu, we've been playing together since we were six at Kings Bay. It's just crazy that it's finally our last year and looking to get out of here with the championship. Yeah, I remember, I remember uh, playing with him at Kings Bay, wondering like we was so excited to know that we was going to Severian together and now Severian is over and we're about to go on to college. Let's go over last year because last year you were in your junior year and you guys really were supposed to do it last year. What went down last year that sort of held you guys back you feel? There was just a lot of things. I mean we were a little immature not knowing how to handle a lot of the media things like that and just a lot of off the field problems that we just the key players and it was hard to bounce back from. I agree with him. Um, a lot of off the field problems, losing a bunch of key players um, to different things. That that was a setback, and plus we were young, so all those problems came up, and that's why we fell short. Overall, this year, the character of this team. Uh, we're a lot different. You know, we all we're a lot more confident in how we play. We all we know that we have what it takes to compete in the AAA, which is the hardest league in New York. This year, I, we're just, I look at us and we're just fast, a lot, a lot more stronger, and just more mature. Position you play real quick, you're a captain also, right? Yeah, I play the slot and sometimes tight end. I play receiver and free safety. Offensively, what sort of offense do you guys run? Spread. Spread, yeah, like something like Oregon. We mix it up a little yeah. bit. Now, your coach also said, like you guys said before, there's not a weekend off in this conference. You're playing St. Joe's, you're playing Trinity, you're playing St. Anthony's every week. Is what have you done for me lately? Uh, it's, we've been going really hard. It's, every game is going to be a challenge every week. If you take it light, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back to you. You know, you got to just, every week is preparation can't take any team lighter than the other. This league kind of reminds me of uh, the NCAA. You know, if you mess up one week, you get a loss, you're not going to make it to the national championship if you're a national championship contender. That's what it kind of reminds me of um, in this league because one loss, you can fall like we were number two in our, in our um, conference, whatever you want to call it, uh, and now we're number five. Like, we fell short from one loss, and that was a close loss. We fell short, and... We just dropped way down the bracket. 15, 13, that was really tight. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a game, you know, we kind of lost it during the week. We got a little ahead of ourselves, and it's not going to happen anymore. It was, it was a wake-up call for us. So you really can't look at the Internet that much? You can't watch shows like this where guys are really pumping you up and telling you that you're all this and really, right? Am, yeah. am I right? No, you, you just got to know how to handle it. It's, it's really, you just got to know that whatever everyone's going to say, one week you do bad, people are going to get on you for that. You do good, they'll be happy for you. It's just how we're going to play, you know. To me, it's just like a growing up process. Like the media, like we're young, we're still, we're still in high school. I mean, even though we're a mature high school team, we're a bunch of seniors, we're still young. So it's exciting. <laughs> the media coming to, to like our practices, we have uh, newscasters here all the time. Like that's, we're young, so we're going to take it as, yeah, we're real good. And then, we didn't work as hard as we could to win the game. You, feel, you understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I, I do. I understand. Now, is there any particular team you're looking forward to playing again as a rematch? Your coach said he's looking forward to Fordham Prep. I can't wait for that game. For right now, it's set for homecoming, and they knocked us out last year in a close game in the playoffs, and I've been dying to play them again. To me, I don't have a particular team that I would look forward to playing. I'm looking forward to playing every team. Like next week, I can't wait to play St. Joe's the week after that. I can't wait to play Iona. Like every week is just, I can't, I can't wait to play them. After, after one game is over, I can't wait to play the next game. When you played that last game in the Zavarian Clippers uniform, describe how you will feel at that particular moment. You want to take this one first? Uh, it, it, this is a hard question because I never, um, I never even thought about playing the last game. Like, 
because I take it one game as a, at a time. But thinking, just thinking off the top of the head, I'll probably be devastated and probably want to cry, break down and cry, because. I've been with these guys all my life, like Sean. Hopefully we don't break up, but we probably would. Yeah, we've had plans, me and Tutu have plans forever to play high school together, play college, you know? And it's just crazy that, like, we've been together for 10, 11 years, and now it's finally gonna be over. And it's just crazy. Colleges? What college I wanna go to? Uh, I don't have, wherever I get a full ride and wherever I get shot on the team, play. Just whoever. Whatever the best offer is, wherever I like the best, you know, school-wise, and just figuring out what I want to do outside of football. All right. Hello, well, gentlemen. Thanks a lot. Thank you, and good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Follow us on Twitter at BK Independent TV.